Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call to order the regular scheduled council meeting for January 3rd of 2017. First one of the year. Mayor hey. Lowry. That was tricky. How many times did you guys write 16 today? Zero. <laughs> I lied once. <laughs> All right. Um, Mr. Collier, when you're ready, the roll call, please. Mayor Lowry. Here. Mr. Reynolds. Here. Mr. Lindsay. Here. <clears throat> Mr. Rick Lowry. Here. Mr. Lethley. Here. Mr. Craver. Here. All present. Thank you, sir. We'll have tonight's invocation by Councilman Ethan Reynolds. Please bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight and this body to be able to meet in a free society and to decide what's best for the citizens of New Carlisle. Lord, please bless us as we continue to govern throughout the upcoming year. As sorry. As we go, continue to go with that the upcoming year, Father God, Lord, let us be able to make the decisions that will best affect all of us to move forward. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And we'll use this flag here tonight. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Need actions on the minutes for the regular scheduled council meeting of Mayor. December 19th of 2016. Mr. Mayor, yes, I move to these minutes. I second. Motion by Mr. Lindsay, second by Mr. Craybacher. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank you. Any questions, council? Yes, second. No questions, Mr. Collier? Mayor Lowry? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Lindsay? Yes. Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. Mr. Lethley? Yes. Mr. Craybacher? Yes. Minutes passed six to zero. Thank you, sir. And moving on, uh, communications. None this evening, Mr. Mayor. Actually, there is. Sorry about that. Right. My end, there is none. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I just want to make sure you didn't have anything. I don't. <laughs> As of the last council meeting on December 19, 2016, <clears throat> I think most of us are aware. Uh, Councilman Will McLaughlin resigned his position on council due to being elected uh, seat on the Clark County Commission. So with that being said, as we did with Councilman McIntyre, there is another seat open on council that we will have to uh, appoint someone. So we will start this whole process over again. Mr. Collier has placed an ad in the New Carlisle newspaper and um, people can put their applications in and we'll move forward with the um, interview portion and eventually appoint somebody down the road here shortly. The legal ad in the paper, uh, Mayor Lowry states that uh, obviously it talks about the vacancy, we're looking for a new council member, and it states that applications need to be completed uh, at, to the city building by next Wednesday, January the 11th at 4 p.m. What council needs to do this evening, if they can, if you can come to a, an agreement, is pick a date for interviews, probably in that week after. So the week after which date was it? Uh, January the 11th would be the deadline, so I would say that to give me enough time to contact everybody, that we meet, the, the council meets sometime the next week and interview. interviews. How about? That following, you have the show What date we're talking? We have a council have meeting on the 17th. Right. I was gonna say you want to try and. You want to do it before the 17th? That's what I'd like to see done. I'd like. I mean, I do, do it on the 16th. That's a holiday. Well, it's a holiday. Oh, but oh I, yeah. I don't have a problem with the 12th or 13th. Or 13th. Yeah. That's pretty quick for me to. Yeah. Get the applications on a Wednesday and <clears throat> contact everybody and say, hey, we have interviews tomorrow. That's going to be at my field. Okay. The 18th, that Wednesday? The day after council meeting? How sure. long? Oh, I'm sorry. How long? What? Um, we need to find out if the council members on the 17th, the meeting's on the 17th, so you're talking the 18th for the interviews? I mean, that was one suggestion, yeah. yeah. Well, how does that work with the charter? Because it says you don't adopt rules of council if there's a council election going on. So is this something that I need to hold off until after that appointment is in until I introduce the rules? Because hmm. there is an election going on. Right. 
I would say yes. Yeah, I would say yes too. Yeah. You know, to the uh, first meeting in February. Um, I'll have to review the language. Um, I'm almost positive it says in January unless there is a election going on. Okay. If it reads that we got to have it done by January, regardless of the election, then we'll have to adopt the rule of council on the 17th. And unfortunately, that council member won't be able to vote on the rule of council for that. But I think what you're talking about when it talks about election, it talks about whether or not we've had a general election and you're swearing in new council members. I don't, well, I don't think term, it matters. Unless they're term in election, it might not be, or it could be nomination, but well, how yeah. that's defined. Gene, you, Gene, there's no way you could get them, we couldn't do it on 13th? Just simplify the whole thing. <clears throat> I'm just saying your your uh, 13th would be a Friday, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Do you have I'm time to do it before the council it, meeting on the 17th? Or is that rough? That, that Last be, time it took be about fine three thing. hours, didn't it? Huh? Mm -hmm. Last time it was about yeah. three hours. Yeah. That's a long time. That's because we had, what, eight? <clears throat> you, you need to kind of do it when you don't have any interruptions. or Right. Or, the, the last time we did this, you said that after that, when after uh, Mr. McLaughlin re, uh, resigned, you said that you would, might contact the ones to see who was interested still? No, I will, I will contact the ones who okay. interviewed previously to see if they're still interested. So they don't have to put in another application? Or that's, left, if you want, that's left up to you as a council. Do okay. you want them to or do, you, do they Will need they to? Will they be interviewed? It would be re-interviewing. Yeah, it would probably yeah. re-interview. I personally don't see a, a need for a new application. <clears throat> Unless something on their files Unless changed. there's something they want to like add They've to done it. something new they want to put on paper. Right. <clears throat> but if the deadline's on the 11th, which the paper states, which gives a week for somebody to get their application in, mm -hmm. <clears throat> trying to interview that Thursday or Friday, I think, is kind of quick because of, I don't know how it's going to be for me to call and say, hey, can you come tomorrow? Because... Right. You know, it's kind of quick. <coughs> Last time they had about a week's notice before the actual interviews, which is why everybody made it. So you're talking the 18th? For the 18th? interview. 18th or the 19th? Or yeah, which I is, guess. Which is a better night. Or I mean, even I mean, the following week, because we're not going to make that council meeting. Right. So yeah, you actually, we'll actually week. have three weeks. Before you have the next council meeting, isn't that right? According to the calendar, yes, something like that. You've got an extra week in there. Yes. Yeah. Well, let me throw this out there: if, it's, if Lynette comes back and says that no, you guys need to do this in January, we don't have to call a special meeting before the 31st to adopt rules of council. Right. <coughs> so, with a little log in the fires, remember, I'm leaving. I'll, I'll be out of town on the 11th. I'll be out of the country until the 13th. The, the joint meeting on the 30th. Anyway. You're out when? February 11th. Or January 11th? January 11th to February 13th. Yours? I'll be in Nigeria. Just, 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 just a little joint meeting on the 30th. I knew there was one coming soon. It says, yeah, the joint governor on the 30th. Mm -hmm. Well, you just want to check with her and then we'll just have to. You want to tentatively set, the, set it for like the 18th? Well, we need, give me a couple of days so that. Mr. Bridge can check the uh, 13th for a couple of days. Oh, and we're at the shelter house and we're at the fire station. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Any time that following week that happens, would be fine with me, Yeah, I mean, or the week after that because any day through the week is fine yeah. with me too. So it's the next Monday night. I can't Monday either. Yeah. Basketball season. So. Pick a day. Pick, pick a day during so the next week. 17th, 18th, 19th. Saturday. Do you guys want to do it on a Saturday? No. <laughs> That look like it. I'd like to give everybody at least a week. So, you know, we're the so we're back to like the 18th. 18th then. So like 18th. No, I thought we were into the 18th. next week already. 18th. Since we don't have another meeting for three weeks. Okay, so the 25th. I'm just give, I just need to write it down and schedule it. I mean, do you, you guys pick. I'm fine with the 18th. Is that okay? Is that okay with you? I'm good. Yep. What time was it? Six thirty. Okay, eighteenth. Okay. Six thirty. What time did we do it last time? Six thirty. Six thirty. Okay, yeah. so we can do it at the same time. Eighteen seventeen at six thirty. Yep. Okay then. Any other questions on that? That's <laughs> so we have a, we have a week's period for the uh, interested individuals to get their applications in. Then we'll interview and move on from there. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, All right. Thank you.
All right, moving on to the city manager's report, Mr. Bridge. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of council, members of the public. I would like to share with you the city manager's report. Um, under action, um, reports in some manner, ongoing updates as needed. Um, I did have to reschedule a meeting that we had with Ms. Faulkner, so I will be rescheduling that. Um, so I will pass the information of, to, along to council as, as, as the new information does come in. We are still, shoot, we are still shooting for that donation this year. Um, so again, when we have more solid information, um, I would like to get a timeline together as soon as possible. So when we have that meeting with uh, Paul Manor, uh, if they have some uh, more information, we can at least get together a tentative uh, side, uh, timeline so I can share that with the council. Just please be aware that timeline might change. At least we'll have something to gauge the gauges the process. So, um, under informational items, there's two bullet points for waste management. Again, the waste management citizens, if you have not chosen your new service level, please contact waste management. Uh, they will not pick up your serve, trash if you do not call and set up service with them. So please do that. Um, waste management performance. Um, I know that we've had a lot of trouble transitioning into this new contract. Um, I've set a meeting um, with the mayor and uh, council member, Mr. Craybach, mm -hmm. right that. so we have three council members there, and we're going to meet with waste management. That is January 10th um, at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, now there's also a bullet point there requesting that council members submit to me in writing, don't just tell me, any complaints that you've had from your constituents. Name, address, what type of service they have. Um, that way we can, we can compile a list of all the problem addresses and hand it off to waste management. I fully intend on inviting waste management to our council meeting on the 17th. So if council has any direct questions to them, you'll be able to ask Tom and Fred Harmon directly. Tom is our public sector uh, contact and Fred is his mm -hmm. boss. So we will have two high up people here within waste management, this region at least, that council can direct any questions to. Um, I did spend about three and a half hours today trying to get some questions answered. Uh, if you do not have service, if you had bag service before, if you don't call and select a new service level, your trash is not getting picked up. All right. Um, we are confused as to why a lot of the complaints I've been getting have not centered around not having a bag. It's they've had a cart before and their stuff is still not getting picked up. So um, we did not get a straight answer today. And quite frankly, I'm not sure if Tom can give us a straight answer until he figures out on his end what's going on. Um, but it could be the amount of trash in December. Um, it could be some of those more senior drivers have vacation time and they're on vacation this month. And we got some sub coming in. Uh, but I will say that all throughout this process, Tom from Waste Management has said this is the worst time of year for us to do that. Not only are we doing it around Christmas time, but we're also changing our whole product set. We went from bag in one container to no bags in three service choices. I did hear a rumor a couple weeks ago that they ran out of the 32 small ones for senior kids. So that's another thing I'll be checking up with them on the 10th as well. So I understand there's a lot of confusion going on with it. It's only been a month. Um, let's just try to let's, let's convene on the 10th, give him our concerns. He can go back, work on his some stuff, come at the council meeting on the 17th, and then we will see how much this improves after that. If it does not improve after that, I am at the liberty to do whatever U7, U6, and your citizens want me to do. Just be aware that if you do in this contract with waste management, your prices are going to go up. And that's one thing you have to, we have to rebid it. That's a lot of time and effort to rebid it. We already have what Rumpke came back as, as the first time around. Mm -hmm. So I truly do believe waste management is the best for the city. I just, we need to figure out what exactly the problem is, but we have got very competitive pricing. And I don't <coughs> want to take that away. For all the negatives that we got this past probably month since it started over, I could not tell you how many phone calls I got thanking the city council and myself for doing this contract with more options. We got a lot of senior citizens calling saying, hey, at first I was against it, but I love my little toe. So this is a new thing for not only waste management, but also for us. I, I was assuming it was going to be a little bit of a headache and we're experiencing that now. Just bear with us, we'll get it figured out. Six months down the road, it'll all be fluid, seamless, and everything will be all right. So that's what I said. Uh, 10th, we have a meeting. Please council members submit to me any complaints that you have in writing. So I can pass it on to the, uh, to the representative of voicemail. Just okay. one question, Randy. Yeah. Um, and, and it's about apartments and apartment buildings. Yep. Do they have a learning curve on when they can get a dumpster? 
Is there apartments are not included in this contract. The contract specifically for single family and two family homes. If you own a unit, apartment unit that has three or more in it, you are on your own to get your own service for your residence. I thought it was in the contract. It's for single family and two family homes only. If you live in a quad or a three or a house that has three apartments under one roof, you're not in this contract. You have to, your land, your trash service is provided by your landlord. Like the apartments right there above Wholesale Auto, they've got a yeah, exactly. separate company dumpster on the side of the building. And the last contract, first time around, was the same way. I didn't change any of that. It's always been one and two family. If you're a commercial, you are, you're required to get your own trash service for your tenants. Hmm. Okay. You can't sit there and have, you got to think about that. Like, for example, I've had a call with a gentleman that has the apartment complex on Lake, but there's four in the front. The bushes are always nicely manicured. But there's four additional apartment complexes in the back. There's like four units. Mm -hmm. There's 32 units in that. Where are they going to put a trash can and a recycling container for each unit? Mm -hmm. well, that's but, why you have to get the dumpster. That's why that's the place. Yeah. Mr. Lindsay. When, when we were speaking to Tom, was Tom. today, the biggest thing I heard from him, I just wanted to share with council about it, he had more excuses than he had answers for anything. You know, he was talking about, uh, you know, terrible weather, and I said, we've had four inches of snow, and that was last month. Uh, you know, what was the problem last night? Well, I don't know, maybe a hydraulic line blow. Well, that isn't our problem, Tom, that is your problem. So if you have a truck that's down, he should get another truck in here, is, is my thinking of it. Uh, you know, and when we have that meeting on the 10th, I'll probably reiterate that to him. All right, any other questions on that? No. And upcoming, oh, my bad, I skipped. New phones at the city building. I think this was on the last one too, I just want to reiterate. We will be replacing our phones at the city building on January 9th, and that is the desk phones that we have, okay? Um, the actual, the install is January 9th. There may be a very small window of downtime, because how he's going to install that, he's going to start with our main phone first, and then go line after line after that. So uh, that time period to where he's taking that main phone out and putting the new one in, there might be a slight delay. So we'll have cell phones there, my cell phone number, Howie's cell phone number. We'll bring code enforcement cell phone number in. We're going to have stuff on the dry erase board. I do not anticipate anything more than maybe five or ten minutes. Uh, but just in case it is longer than that, we will have backup cell phones for emergency purposes. Um, upcoming budget work sessions. You need to schedule a few budget work sessions in the future. Budget is due by April, 11, April 1st, 2017. That was copy and paste from last time. Mr. <laughs> Reynolds actually corrected me on that date and I didn't fix it. Sorry about that. Sorry. Tentative submission to City Council is March 6th, 2017 via resolution. Uh, so probably at the next council meeting, I'll ask if you guys can get your availability for some work sessions, that we can have a couple work sessions before we actually approve the budget yeah, in February. February. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> and upcoming also is New Carlisle School Choice Week. January 22nd and 28th. Uh, so there will be a proclamation declaring so at the council meeting if Mr. Mayor does okay that. You okay with the proclamation? Definitely. Okay. And that is all I have for the city manager reports. I will be happy to field any questions. Council, any questions for the city manager? All right, thank you, sir. Okay. Hey. All right. We will move on to Comments from the members of the public. Mr. Cobb. Ronald Cobb, 202 Bill of Rogers. And I'm not trying to You're fine, take Mr. your toes. We've had a problem with waste management clear back <clears throat> in the last year. Last night they didn't pick up trash at 740 on the building. That was just one side. He was 8 o'clock by the time he got down on the other side. All this guy's doing is blowing smoke up everybody. We had three trucks in here picking up trash. Now we're down to two trucks. I don't buy this the holiday we've got more trash in our trash cans. Because anything outside the trash, they're not touching now. It has to be in the trash unless it's a bulk, bulk item. Bulk item. Then they'll pick it up, which I guess you got to give them a few, few days notice on that. Three. But, you know, we've got a problem. It has to get resolved. I mean, you know, they're going to keep coming to you and say, well, we'll have this meeting, we'll have this meeting, 
You're all sitting there. You got. I mean, I'm the only one that comes up here and complains. That's bad. But something has to be done, or we need to run them out of the city and get somebody else in here. I mean, I don't want to separate the petition to remove waste management and take it back like it was. We can bring in whoever we want to. But this has to get resolved and resolved quick. I'm paying an ungodly price for, for, for to have my trash picked up when I can get rid of the trash can and take it down to my son in Park Lane and drop it off his house. And I'll pay nothing. I mean, yesterday, Clay Street, no trash was picked up. I don't know how many other streets didn't get picked up. Last night we did have the automated truck. How long is that going to last? I mean, we had an automated truck in here when we first, when you all first voted on the contract, one, one Monday. Mm -hmm. After that, it was get out and dump it in behind the truck. And they promised an automated truck. And you know, enough's enough, it's got to stop. And, it, you know, we can't just keep dragging it down the road or I'm going to keep biting you. You're going to get tired of hearing me tell me to get the heck out the door. I don't care. I'm not tired of hearing you, Ron. I, I think my personal opinion, I think after this meeting on the, the 9th or 10th, 10th, I think a lot I think a lot of stuff will get taken care of. I think me personally, I think the problem is it was kind of like the perfect storm. Mm -hmm. It was we changed up our whole structure of, of our service to the entire city. Plus it was, uh, you know, Christmas time and, you know, they're talking about the... Um, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not buying the hydraulic things. I'm with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> but I just, I, I just think it's a combination of, of new things. And, and I've never thought of the angle you thought about it as far as maybe a lot of these drivers are, you know, on vacation and there's backup drivers. But regardless, I'm, uh, but also that's not an excuse because I think prior to us switching our contract, I thought their service was pretty good, in my opinion. The service was good until, until I'm going to say at least three to four months back last year. And it started going downhill. Well, I thought it was fine up until we and switched once, contracts. Once you all voted to accept waste management as the uh, trash hauler, service has gotten worse. But simply, Ron, I mean, we can't. I mean, we can't say waste management and get out of New Carlisle because you gave us four weeks of some questionable service. I mean, I think after this meeting and we're out of the silly season, and I'm not saying that Christmas is the only thing that, that caused these problems, but I just think, like I said, it was a perfect storm. I say a week, two weeks after this meeting, if things aren't changed, and yeah, now it's time to say, get your stuff together or we're gonna consider dumping this contract. But when you had three trucks, you had good service. Traffic, they wasn't in here past five or 5.30 at the latest. Right. You've now dropped down from three to two, and it's a big area to cover for two trash haulers. Plus when they get, uh, Oh, they've got to go dump, right. which takes at least an hour and a half to two hours by the time they make the return trip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Reynolds. I have a question. In the, this is not for you, this is for you. In the contract, is it required for them to have three trucks in town? Or, I, I don't think it's Or they can just I, I can't, I don't put as many as they need. That. I don't I don't, okay. I don't think that, I don't think it requires. Okay, I, I was just wondering. But I'll double check. All right, because I, I do have, one follow because, up. Can I, because there's a section in that contract that says please disclose your equipment that you have on file. It doesn't say disclose what equipment you'll use for this, but for we'll look through the terms. Okay. I, council, I think, has a copy of the contract, yeah, so um, I'll look, but please look on your own just in case I don't see something. All right, and then yeah. my follow up question is have we had any complaints with like recycling pickups yet? Um, a couple, but not a lot. Okay. A lot of it centered around that too. All right, cause I was just wondering, because there was an, uh, a teacher that I used to have in high school. Uh, her father has put out his recyclables for five weeks now, and they haven't been touched. Because did he have a bag service before? No, he's always had the tote. And it's been well, five everybody's weeks. Everybody's always going to have that tote. Well, matter. yeah, the recycling tote. He's always had the recycling tote, but it's just been sitting, and he brings it out every Monday, wow. religiously, and he says he's seen him pull up, grab the guys, go past his house, grab the next guys, and then he called, and he's like, have I paid my bill? And they said, yes, he's called Michigan. He said, So he times. was not on the bag service prior to this new no. contract. So he has a trash tote? He has a, he has a regular tote and, and a recycling tote. I can't answer that. Yeah, so I was just no. wondering. Like, no. Can you pass me the information? Yeah, I have it here. So I filled out cards that people call me about. 
Uh, for you. And if I could piggyback, I understand everybody's complaints. I just want the citizens to know and council members to know. If you live in a single family house or double family house in this town, you by charter have to go with the contract to move it. You cannot not to have draft service. I can't, period. You have to have service with whatever contract the city goes on. So if you're in a back system before and you're sitting there saying, I'm just going to take care of my own trash, and if you like have a single family home, you can't do that. You have to have service with whatever city contracts with, and that's blatantly in the charter. Look it up. It's right on the brochure that was mailed to you. I mean, that's just city code. I can't, that's not, that's just how it is. You can't share oh. services. You cannot have a, you cannot not have trash service in the city if you live in a single family or a double family house. You are required by the charter, again, to have the service provided, but whatever this council chooses to do. May I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Can I see, a, can I have a copy of the contract? Absolutely. Pardon? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll print one out for you. Just drop I'd, I'd like to redo it. Okay. Sure. Mr. Lyman. Did you say there was two complete streets both sides that was not picked up this week? That's I, I, okay. I, I can't yell any loud. Did you say there was two complete streets that was not? I know I heard one, but did you say there was two complete streets? That I know Clay Street was not picked up when I drove down Clay Street today. Okay, Clay. both sides? Clay was both sides, yeah. Clay okay. Was and I thought you said there was another and one. I Maybe think I December was picked up okay. until today. Gotcha. Okay. okay. The, uh, the end zone. Wait, Randy wanted to say something. Clay was picked up. We picked up the phone. Mr. Lindsay was in the office. Victoria, our central cashier, was on the phone about Clay. Within probably an hour, they had it done. Today. Today. I mean, mine was picked up at 7.40 last night. Mm -hmm. And by the time he went up to Smith Street, turned around and come back down the other side of Bella, by the time he got to the end of uh, mm -hmm. Bella, of course, it was 8 o'clock. Sure. Well, I think we just so, stick with our game plan. We have a meeting scheduled for the 10th. We'll get council concerns. Um, I'm a firm believer in that they had their senior staff on. And what we had up here was sub drivers. That explains this addresses. That explains, uh, I mean, it, it explains a lot. Not trying to be defensive on any anybody's side. I'm just saying logically, if you think of all what could go wrong, it seems like Christmas time and probably drivers not normally on staff were on vacation. So again, this is all speculation until we have a meeting with Tom on thing. But actually, if you base it back from the previous contract here, we never had no trouble when the holiday season come around of them picking up trash. Things you know, change. When you drop from three trucks down to two trucks, you have that's taking one, one extra truck. How do you know that they have two trucks? Yeah, I don't call the board with Corporal Toby. They were down with two trucks in the city. Okay. We'll figure that out and we'll get it from Tom. Um, I'm not ditching their customer service, but I've called their customer service number four and a lot of them don't have a clue what they're talking about. Yeah. So, <laughs> again, like I said, this is all speculation. I'm glad you're voicing your concerns because we're not going to know what to take to the table with them until the 10th. But like I said, this is all speculation about what's going on with why service is bad. And I'm sure they can point fingers on us saying we're doing something wrong. Maybe they're gonna, we can point fingers right back. But again, until after we have that tenth and we go through the motions and we give them the time to correct, let's measure their success after the fact. I mean, I just wait so the yeah. citizens would come up here and stand and voice their opinion. Sure. I'm the only one saying no anymore. No, we got a lot of phone calls. We, we've got a lot of phone calls. These yeah, past don't, don't sit and do it on the phone. Yeah. I wonder, Randy, is this the first time that we've had all automated trucks in the city? Because, I mean, I guess Yeah, the whole thing was automated last, but I don't see how that, I don't know why they guarantee you an automated truck since there's bags involved. Well, I'm wondering, is that a learning yeah. curve for some of the drivers? When you all voted at Farhouse there, who's the gentleman? Tom. Tom. Guaranteed that we would have an automated truck in there. Now, did he mean uh, recyclable or did he mean trash? Did he specify? No, the trucks are automated. I'm talking about last contract around. You had said we started out with an automated truck, but then it stopped. Well, that makes sense because we had bags in the last contract. Right, right. The, the, the old contract yeah. that we had, yes, there was no automation in that. It's in the new contract that he stated that he would have automation, but he didn't specify recyclable or trash. We had, we had an automated arm mm -hmm. the yeah. first... Uh, Right after you all voted. And then we went back to the old way of the driver getting out and dumping it on the back. Last night we have an automated run through, through the uh, uh, flat. So, yeah. 
we'll figure it out at the next at the meeting on the 10th. And then, like yeah, I said, yeah. I think if you don't see considerable change a week after, two weeks after that, at the most, then we need to. You, you need know, to give them more time than that. We need to yeah. do something. You need to serious. give them at least another month. I mean, you got to let this. I'm telling you, you need to try. You need. We need to let them fix it before oh. we rebid it out. Right. Because it's going to cost us way more money to let's give them time to fix it. See how it plays out, and then we'll, we'll analyze it from there. That whole last contract, I can't speak for everybody, but my house it was on oh, There's not bag. too many men out there that can pick up them great big ones when they're plumb full. Mm -hmm. And I've watched them in the morning take mine, and it was automated back then. They might, because I mean, I, I, there's only, I, a lot of our bags are concentrated in one particular part of town. So I could see them probably using multiple things to do automated in one part and then manual pickup. Okay. Well, last week I was told we were showing our. Mm -hmm. And they have the can keep the truck driving the car truck. Like you told me, I don't know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll buy that. Well, last night we had a driver that took over from the other one that had a heart attack or had cancer. Had cancer. One driver got cancer. Mm -hmm. This guy took over. He run in here for almost a year. Then he disappeared. Now we're getting whoever. Left. Who's left over? All right. <laughs> you got something, Mr. Yeah. The, uh, you know, the comment about them not knowing where to go and not knowing the route, we was told today on the phone with Mr. Bridge and Tom that they have a uh, computer in there that tells them who's paid, what the address is, and if they're paid up or not. So that shouldn't, you know, they should be able to be able to read their own computer and pick up the houses that needs to be picked up. Well, I think it boils down to, they're the, they're the, only, <laughs> ones, they're the only ones that know the true problem. Right. And, yeah. and I think after our meeting on the 10th and again on the 17th here at council, if they don't have it fixed, I would say by the 1st of March, then I think council needs to look at something. Look at yeah. something to, to do something different. I, I agree. All right. Yes. We don't know Thank you, Mr. Cobb. We don't know. Thank you. Okay, my name is Jennifer Thornberry, and I'm at 307 Villa Drive. Um, I um, have a couple of things, but that meeting with waste management, does that involve all of us or just you guys? Oh, that's an administrator. Oh, okay. Um, because I, I, was, I have noticed the last couple of weeks when, when I, yes, or the last time when you got up here and said something about it, I was like, oh my gosh, you can say that. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> so I um, start uh, writing down some of the things. It, one, there was a guy who had, who was on there for a while, I don't know how long. He was so respectful of everybody. He, the elderly, and even people with small children, and you know, he would take, he would empty their um, trash things, and he would even roll it back, all the way back up to their house several times. Well, then he stopped getting on it, or doing the roof. So um, then other people um, were coming, and they are so careless. I have noticed, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they picked up my, um, now they do this all the time, but um, I witnessed it um, yesterday. They came in, they picked up my um, um, Recycling. recycling mm -hmm. and left, uh, things fell off mm -hmm. of the top and the boxes that were on the side broke down, everything broke down, they just left it because it was an automated truck. They didn't get out of their truck, make sure that if anything fell, it went back up. I have noticed there's, um, there's um, trash that's flying off of the truck when they pull away. Understandably, they probably can't see it, but they also don't care to try to look either. There is trash, and there is never trash on Villa. But the last couple weeks, there has been I have cubs in my yard, and people don't just, I mean, it's not summertime. So there's cubs, there's candy wrap, there's all kinds of things 
that you could tell it came from the trash can or the trash truck. So that's irritating me. Um, they're, they're just, uh, I've seen them come and pick up, and my trash didn't get picked up last night until like seven or eight. It was dark out. So I understand what you're saying there. Um, and um, they're just very careless. They, they don't care, they throw all my recycling that it was just, you know, not too far after Christmas, so. Sure. Um, the new contract spec, you can't put trash in outside of your containers. All trash has to be inside a container with a lid closed. What? So if you have boxes outside of your recycling container, they're not safe. So, okay, then um, what do we do if we have extra? You break it down, get it in there, you hold off on it. And wait till the next week to put it in there. Or you can take it to a recycling center. But there is no extra if, trash bags, there is no extra boxes outside of the trash cans anymore. Like if you have, but also, if, let's say you buy like a you know new fridge or something with a huge box. I know you can break it down, but you, is that cons that's saying it's a bulk pickup. You call them three days ahead of time and they'll, they'll pick it up. Like that in plastic, so right. the only thing that's changed from the last contract was the additional mm -hmm. trash outside. Our city code violates having trash outside for pickup, not in a container with a lid. Because of the automated trucks. No, it's because to do with sanitary reasons and cleanliness reasons. Can you imagine, and it had, we, saw, we saw it in Northwoods all the time, people would have these yellow bags that they bought from the city building, or they would have trash bags outside of their stuff where animals come and get into it, you know, and they rip the trash out. You know, trash, all trash. Every city I've worked in or lived in, all trash has to be inside a container with the lid closed. So, our good city is so that's why the bag from, from this last time. So, yes, if you have extra stuff around your trash, you can rent an extra cart for trash, or you can, as far as the recycling goes, you have to hold off what you put into it. I've got so much boxes in my garage right now because I won't all fit my recycling container. Then what happens? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mr. Judge, I have a question. Yeah. You just said that if. And, and using Mike's example, if you get a refrigerator and you have this big box and you call for a bulk pickup, we have to wrap that box in plastic? Probably, yeah. It's going to get wet and fall apart. Is that what it is? I was thinking the plastic well, yeah, is... fridge box, you, can, you have to break it down. I mean, we could have... Uh, the thing about it is the contract's been the way it is for about a month and a half. So right. I understand people are now seeing the changes, but at the end of the day, it's going to be rough for the first couple of months, but for the long term, this is the best situation for the city. So we are going to alleviate blowing trash. Blowing trash in this town was a huge issue. Right. Huge issue. We have raccoons. We are surrounded by cornfields. We've got foxes. We've got people in here that let their dogs out at night. We all I, I know two weeks ago, I, I had a couple of boxes and I stepped in between my two containers so they wouldn't blow away. And when I went out to bring the recycle can in, they had put a note on the handle. Yeah. All, all cardboard has to be in the box. Well, City it was full, and I thought, well, I'm going to get picked up. Really? No. I've seen cans open like this, you know, and they still get I, New Carlisle's got a really good trash contract. I know people have a hard time seeing that, from the change from what they have, but I'm telling you, the pricing is very affordable. You saw what Rumpke came back as. Nobody likes change. I get it. The city didn't change my stuff. I'd be kind of upset too. But at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for the city as a whole, not individual people. And that's not a dab anybody. We've got it spoke. But moving forward, once this, all this fiasco gets done and over with, and people understand the new concept, this is truly the best benefit for our city. Our senior citizens pay nine dollars a month for trash service. Right. Nine dollars a month for trash service. Yeah. That's fantastic. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Nope. Let's move on, please. Yes, thank you. No trash talking. <laughs> no trash talking, Randy. Trash talking. Yeah, no trash talking. All right. Any other comments from the public? Dewey, Andy, Mr. <laughs> Grimm? Move on. Do you have two children now that I can take with you? Do you have any children now that I can take with you? You're concerned that you talk about it. Oh, I think I'm ready. Thank you. All right. We'll move on to resolutions. None tonight. None tonight. All right, ordinances. Two to be introduced, zero for action. 
Sure. Um, before he introduces the ordinances, I have placed with your council packets this time around this nice little packet right here. Mr. Mayor, you got the full color version. Yeah, uh, art. So basically right now, this goes with these two ordinances, okay? Um, they, I will have uh, two, uh, at least one individual coming down the next council meeting for these. So if you have any direct questions that I can't answer, we can have them as a backup. Um, but take a look at this document. It explains what's going on in, these, in depth detail. But basically these uh, months ago, I said we could refinance our bonds in November. This is that, okay? To get to the one page that everybody's in the bottom line. If you go to page, we already saw that. Yeah, we saw that. Eight. Page eight. Thank you. We all <laughs> discussed that. Oh, okay. So on page eight, if everything plays the way it is, now keep in mind that we still have our audit coming from the state, and we have the possibility of our SP ratings getting up just a notch. If everything stays the same and it doesn't go up or down, we are projected to save one hundred thirty-three thousand, almost one hundred thirty-four thousand dollars over the course of the bonds just for refinancing. Uh, so please take a look at this document. Any questions that you have for me, you can definitely email me. Um, but this will be up for vote, not this, I mean, at the next council meeting. But again, we will have representatives from the company who's doing our bond refinancing here. In the uh, but this is a good move. Anytime that we can reduce money we're spending over the long term, it's, it's, a, it's a great, great, great uh, day. So please take a look at it. Any questions, you can get back to me. I just wanted to let council know that this packet goes with two ordinances that's going to be introduced tonight. Thank you, sir. Mr. Collier, whenever you're ready to run through the ordinances. Ordinance 17-01, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 17 an ordinance providing for the issuance of not to exceed $675,000 various purpose for funding bonds series 2017 by the city of New Carlisle, Ohio, for the purpose of refunding outstanding bonds issued for the purpose of, one, paying a portion of the total reconstruction of Kennison Avenue and Peace Drive and Storm Sewer extensions, two, paying preliminary costs for the Government Center Improvement Project. Ordinance 17-02, Introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 11717, an ordinance providing for the issuance of not to exceed $700,000 in infrastructure improvement through funding bond, series 2017 by the city of Utah, Ohio, for the purpose of refunding outstanding bonds issued for the purpose of paying part of certain improvements in the Twin Creek, ten, Twin Creek subdivision of the city and matter related to such bonds. Thank you, sir. That's quite enough of there. Right? No. Ten, no. ten creeks? Twin. Twin <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> All right. We will move on to other business before you uh, read that one little item there. Uh, first, is Councilor, any other questions or comments? I have a question. Beside right. you. Okay. Um, <laughs> Government Center Improvement Project. Can anyone who has any length on council please tell me what that is? I'm assuming it's Madison Street School. Say it again. It is. is. Government it Center is. Improvement Project. Is yes. that the preliminary plan for Madison? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That's why I assumed. I was searching, looking. <laughs> now I have a question. Why? Why? Can you explain why we're still paying on something that it's happened? Okay. What? Ten years ago? Fifteen years ago? I don't, know, really, I don't know when they got Madison Street School. School. They essentially, they essentially took out a loan to do all the stuff. That's essentially okay. it. To put a new roof to on. To do the study, to put a new roof on. And I think they removed some asbestos. No, there wasn't, roof, wasn't there a feasibility study? I'm sorry. Wasn't there a feasibility study on? There was. Uh, I believe there was two um, study, uh, two art. I don't know what I want to say. Well, two, two, two plans drawn up there. Okay. Then, there's two, two I think. And then a roof and yeah. all that stuff. Right. And then the roof, I think the roof was... Hundred wow. and some, was it? How much? Hundred and some. I was thinking close to two hundred thousand dollars. I, I, I have heard two for the roof. Yeah. Okay. Well, two, that makes sense. That's what I heard. Okay. I assume that's what it was, but I didn't know all that went into it. Yeah. So, if uh, any citizen asked me, I wanted to be able to say, "Oh, it was Madison Street School." And Kaplan made us pay three hundred thousand dollars for plans. Okay. Can I interject and say we're kind of talking about this information that we should be doing this? Okay. 
discuss it all. But, but uh, Mr. Morrell, to follow up on, on Mr. Collier, the, I know you said we shouldn't talk about this till the next meeting, but at one meeting I was asking questions and Mr. Bridge sat there and said you should have already asked those questions. And I, and I repeated to him, we are not allowed to ask questions on this when it's introduced. And he says, do it anyway. He meant. <laughs> no, he meant office to office phone call, okay. email. Yeah, that's what he meant. But then the entire council don't hear the question or the answer, so. Mm, that's true. Mr. Cobb, real quick. What do we classify the government center? Well, I'm sorry, sir. What do you classify the government? Oh, I had nothing to do with what, this. They, oh, what they oh, classify? Oh, 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 not oh, us. Nothing to do with this one. Not us. Not us. Not us. Not us. Not us. They wanted it to be a city building. Yeah, they, they, wanted, they were trying to survive. We don't know. Bingo. Madison School. Good point. Thank you. Appreciate it. City building. They wanted it to be a city building. Oh, okay. I'll go off the All right. Anything else? All right, before we move on, Mr. Collier, I just want to thank uh, everyone who came out to the New Year's Eve ball drop. It was a pretty good turnout, had a good time. Everyone was safe, bring in the New Year. A ton of people there, I was guessing maybe around 2,000, 2,500 people. Really? Um, yeah, it was, I mean, I don't know, that's just I saw, a guess. I saw your picture, too. It was amazing and, uh, a, a big thanks to everybody that helps put that on. You know, the Heritage Flight Festival me. all the businesses, Jim Bobo, Jeff, mm -hmm. Jeff's Automotive, the New Cloud News did something very generous. Uh, at the end of that night. So, uh, big thanks to everybody that sure, right. had been off. Thank you. So, so, um, two things. One, town hall meeting is our the council. We do it the same day that we adopt our budget for 17. We did that last year too. Is everybody okay oh, with that? Good. Have it on the same day. Uh, to Kathy Marshall, who is our water utility quote, made an honest mistake today. On the water bills that just went out on the physical bill, it says the bills are due on the 16th. Well, we're closed that day for Martin Luther King Day. So there's going to be a sign on the front door that says they're technically due the 17th. So if you do show up to pay your bill on the 16th and we're closed, either put it in the drop box or come back on the 17th, you won't be late. Okay. Okay. 17th. 17th. Bill, bills are due 17th this month. Okay, great. All right. Mr. Lauder? Yeah. Mr. Briggs. Yes, sir. Can I say something to you and you don't take a personal room? Absolutely. Okay. These ordinances. Yes. I'm going to get new ones for the next council meeting. Why? Well, we always do. Oh, brand new ones? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can get you a new one. Yeah. No, I yeah. don't want new ones. Can we just we're creating a lot of trash here and losing, using a lot of ink and using a lot of paper we don't really need to do? I have no problem with that. I um, get, you know, we read this one and say, you know, we're going to act on that next meeting. i got to end up throwing these away because you'll give you two more. Well, uh, and I'm okay with that. And that's the plan when I first started over. That's what I did. Um, but I had, I'm not going to say who, or it was actually no way. So um, they had suggested that I put new ord ordinances with both council packets because I guess they were coming and didn't have the copy, so I just started throwing them back in. I have no problem once you have the first yeah, issue. I think of we're them, just wasting a lot of paper. I'm okay with that. Totally okay with it. Done deal. I'm, I'm shredding them. That's fine. Then I got to get rid Is of the rest of the council okay with that? So you have to really hold on to the first read ordinances for next week and break them. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that will save paper. Yes. And everybody's okay with that. I'm down with it. Thank you. I appreciate it. It'll make his job easier. Am I allowed to go back to the front back side yet? Two sides? No. No. Okay. No. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> 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 Don't push it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other questions, I'd Council? Like Gene, would you like to read the last little piece here? Uh, yes. City offices will be closed on Monday, January the 16th for Martin Luther King Day. To review again, the applications for the council seat are due by 1 11 17 at 4 p.m. at the city building, and council will hold interviews on 1 18 17 at 6 30 p.m. either here if we find out this is open or the new cut off firehouse. Mm -hmm. And when did you say the next joint government meeting would be held? 30 or 30. Just January 3rd? What yeah. is it? January 3rd. Yeah. I got it at Bethel Township. Is that still yeah. correct? I don't remember where it was, but I knew it was real soon. At Bethel. It is Bethel? Oh, no. mm -hmm. All right. That's all I have. Thank you, sir. Council? Just, just a reminder, just so everybody knows, the next council meeting is on Tuesday, January the 17th. Yep. Another Tuesday night meeting. All right. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Lindsay, move. 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 Move.